But the truth is that always looking at borrowing in and of itself, it's a quick fix to the whole situation. It's an easy way to look around a complex, a complex situation. Uh, we cannot just be borrowing without having perspective to how that borrowing will be repaid. I believe that those who have done the economics do have some kind of arrangement for that. But it is now incumbent upon them, as people who have looked into the details, to have a consistent methodolo a methodological way of educating the public in respect to what those things would do in, ter in terms of improving the economy, in terms of job provision, in terms of infrastructural development, and how in the long run it's going to repay itself. Communication is still an important part of governance, and that is why those who are familiar with the details of the economics not only need to educate the National Assembly, but the nation as a whole. Looking at the planned spending structure for this particular loan, does it suggest that we are doing anything differently? I mean, we still want to spend about $3 billion uh, repaying, uh, you know, keeping up to the, the, uh, our commitments to the previous loans that we've had. Are we doing anything differently? Well, as it is today, I don't think so. I mean, in the sense that the evidence available in the public marketplace is, does not show that things are being done significantly differently. But there are certain things, if we are to talk about sincerity, that needs to be done. From information that is not formal, but that is quasi-formal, in terms of information available in the public uh, social media space, there are some amounts of money that should have been seized by government which owing to um, technical bureaucracy, bureaucracies they cannot use as at this time. It is important for there to be some amount of gathering of this amount of money so that they can actually be put into use. That is one part. The other part is that there are significant people who have benefited from the economy and the nation who have entered into positions where they are being called billionaires within the Forbes marketplace. Some of them even want to buy Premier League clubs with some significant amount of money. Is it possible that they can delay the purchase of these Premier League clubs and borrow Nigeria some money so that we don't have to get some of this funding from people who are going to still demand something from us in the, um, in the future? The fact is that what I've said does not necessarily have to be followed, but there is a need an urgent need for us to think outside the box to look at a way to solve our problems without necessarily taking the easy way out of going to borrow. Mm, all right. Well, well that, that particular matter of um, suggesting to people uh, where to look in terms of investment it appears that it's a personal matter. But just yesterday, um, the, the, the World Bank appears to be telling Nigeria uh, it's a good thing you're coming out of recession but then you need to begin to invest in your people. Based on the things that we hope to spend this money on, at least we know about the uh, Mambila uh, Plateau project and uh, infrastructure and all, does, or do those things look like we, we want to take that advice? Yes, it does, because we need to understand that when they say investment in people, there is the intellectual aspect in terms of education and the related educational-based knowledge economy issues. But once you have the education, there is still a requirement for the platform, for the places to operate. So it's a, it's, it's a dual process. If you are going to go to school, yes, you are going to study your books, but you also are right. going to wear a uniform. You're going to have Mr. Clothes. Mr. Show me. To, I'm really sorry to the button. There are certain basic things that are there. I'm really sorry to button, Mr. Shomi, but I'm told that our, our Skype line is very clear now, and we can reach Mr. Charles Yuri, an economist who joins us from, uh, from England. Uh, I believe you've been listening to that conversation. Thank you very kindly for, for spending time with us tonight. But uh, what's your take on our next borrowing plan? Can you hear me? Absolutely. I can hear you if you can hear me. All right, I can hear you clearly. Well, well like, uh, I, I didn't hear most of what he was saying from Abuja, because I think the Skype line wasn't quite steady. Uh, borrowing by any state is like a human being borrowing. If you have to wait on your savings, you won't be able to achieve your real objectives. So very often, if you have a big idea, you want to make sure your life is better, you go and borrow. 
very often you start with your family, and if your family can't do it, then you talk to your friends, then the banks, and then the capital markets if you need to. But the issue is not whether you are, but whether you're borrowing for spending or you're borrowing to create new assets. If you're borrowing for just for consumption, then there's a problem there. And then after you've borrowed, you want to be certain that the expenditure you're going out, you want to be spending before, are you getting the real value for money? Now, it is a difficult situation, it's a character situation, because I think to a large extent, we really haven't gotten value for our money. But that's no reason for you not to borrow. So like I said, Borrowing is essential if you're going to borrow to grow things and improve your production, if you're not borrowing for consumption. Thank you. All right, let's assume for a moment that those with the sentiment of us not mm. borrowing have higher votes um, uh, with the lawmakers. Do we see, what do you think would happen if, for instance, the, the, the lawmakers say, look, this doesn't appear as what we should do right now, we should look elsewhere. Do we see that situation coming up? Well, I don't know what the law lawmakers have seen. I haven't got access to data. But I would think the executive will need to put a, compa a compelling case to the lawmakers that there is need to borrow. The economy is expanding. There's been waste over a long time. I mean, the infrastructure is just all rotten. You need to borrow to grow those things properly. But like I keep saying, borrowing is not really just the issue. You need to make sure that whatever you're spending is you're getting value for it because if you're borrowing and the money still get is still get, getting lost like it was before, then you're in the hiding to nothing. Um, well, I would normally say that's the path to perdition. So you should borrow. I mean, there's no one else. No one else can grow without borrowing. The, the, the strength of the Western society is its capacity to borrow, but the discipline in spending that money is also critical. Hmm. So thank you very kindly, uh, Mr. Charles Yore, who joined an economist who joins us from uh, England and also a uh, guest in uh, our Abuja studio. Uh, that is Mr. Olabode Shomi, who is a public affairs analyst. Thank you both gentlemen for spending time with us on State of the Nation tonight. We'll take a short break on the program. When we come back, we'll be talking about monkeypox that seems to have found its way to seven states. Join us again.